there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now. When it comes to marine audio, few brands stand above and can really be called a pioneer within the segment. Wet Sounds is that brand, and we are lucky to have them with us today to talk about marine audio here in 2023. This is CMA Connected, presented by Sirius XM, all about Wet Sounds, marine audio, and it starts now. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM here on CMA Networks. We are within the marine audio sessions. What a great way to kick off the season. And I mean, marine audio is one of those uh, categories that certainly has evolved over the years. The product selection that includes just incredible sounding speakers, whether we're talking about can or tower speakers, uh, everything from compression horns to RGB lighting, of course, is such an important thing. Now, the brand that we have today, really, we can say cut their teeth in Marine Audio, and they've got some a real strong lineup of new goodies that we're gonna talk about with you today. Now, we are in the studio here with Carl Campbell, who's the national trainer for Wet Sounds. We have him here, and we're gonna dive right in. All right, Carl, let's get out of the gate. Let's establish the brand. Let's establish Wet Sounds position within the Marine Audio segment. Why does Wet Sounds continue to be the category leader in Marine Audio? Well, Ben, that's a great question. Um, you know, there's a lot of marine companies out there that build marine products, but Wet Sounds has always been a marine product builder with everything that we build. It doesn't matter if it's a sound bar, if it's a speaker, if it's an amplifier, if it's a cooler, everything we build has stringent testing and goes through a very rigorous process of marine uh testing as you would say I mean, we we build every single thing that we make has to qualify as a marine product before we'll even bring it to market and there's a lot of great audio companies out there some are car audio companies some are home audio companies but they're a home audio or a car audio product company building a marine product and it may be new or different to them where every single thing we make has a marine quality build to it now, when we build our products, we also do some things that not a lot of companies can do. We make our products loud and clear. So it's really easy to build a speaker that's loud, and it's really easy to build a speaker that's incredibly clear, but it's very difficult to do both. And that's one of the key things that we really try to build. It even boils down into our mission statement, where one of our, our biggest um focuses in our company is to give you this loud clear and live audio performance with every product we build no matter where you're at whether you're camping whether you're on the boat whether you're in your side by side or whether you're in a golf cart it doesn't matter where you're at we try to bring you that live audio performance sound in any environment that you want to go to you know, uh, Carl, I was blessed to have the opportunity to visit a couple of key shows during the winter time. And while I was there, I visited the Wet Sounds booth and I had a chance to sit and talk with you and you showed me some new goodies. And we're going to get into some of that right now. We've got to talk about the brand new Zero series of speakers. There's a huge story behind its design and some of the elements that went into it. Uh, can you share with us a little bit about the design and the whole story behind why the Zero speakers are so important to the new offering from Wet Sounds? So the Zero line you could say it's a new product to us, but it took years for us to develop because what Wet Sounds really did is they took all these great um, marine innovations that we've had over the last 10 to 12 years and put them all into this new zero line. And the zero name basically means zero compromise. You're getting an amazing sounding product in this speaker. And at the same time, you've got all these different technology points that are going to make it the best 
possible marine product that that's out there in the marketplace today. Um, there's, it's kind of a crossover product for us as well. We really built this product, like I said, what we do with all of our products, this marine quality build, but we're really looking at this product to cross over into the motorsport and power sport market, the motorcycle arena, um, really any place that you need a small enclosure space for a speaker, but you want this marine quality build behind it, this is your, this is your product. It's got amazing uh, different, different um, technologies that are put into this thing. You've got the compression horn bullet tweeters that are in it that we took from our, our tower speakers. We've got the Nylas basket, which is um, something that we use. It's nylon and fiberglass. It's been formed together to make an incredibly strong and rigid forming basket, but lighter than steel. We use a neodymium magnet structure in this to keep the basket size smaller and tapered so it fits into your Harley Davidson motorcycle fairings. We use an inverted surround so that if you do put this product in a motorcycle fairing, you don't have the surround coming up and rubbing against the grill and damaging the speaker. We The speaker cone material is what they call PMGS, which is a polymica glass sphere material. Polymica is actually impervious to UV rays. So we mix this into our speaker cone so that this thing can just be beat on by the sun for hours and hours and hours and hours. And you're never going to have any audio loss or you're going to have a nice rigid cone. So it's not going to expand or contract. So right here we have the six and a half zero speaker and the eight zero with the white grill. But the nice thing is, is these grills simply twist and they lock on or lock off. And you can actually see the inverted surround that Grant has there in his hand. It's, it's, and you look at, at this product, it's got the Harley Davidson bolt pattern built into the basket. So this will drop into any Harley Davidson from 2014 and newer. Um, it's, it's an amazingly built product. You can see right there the, the heat sink on the back that's actually attached to the neodymium magnet structure. So the harder you push this speaker, the more air it actually pushes and pulls through the magnet structure to cool it off. It's got dual connectors on this speaker. It's got the standard slide-on spade connectors, which most a lot of people use in vehicles and whatever. But it's got the DNC port connector that you see a lot in marine audio. And you also see Harley-Davidson go into that with a lot of their newer fairings. So this is like a plug-and-play solution for your motorcycle market as well. And you... The, the bullet tweeter in this thing is designed to just push great audio sound right through the wind and the pipe noise you get on any type of motorcycle you may have. I got to say, when I saw these speakers in person, Carl, they were impressive. And to now learn of the design elements that went into it, keeping in mind the multi uh, application of it. You know, you mentioned power sports, you mentioned um, Harley Davidson. Very, very cool. And I think dealers are are certainly going to notice that. Now, what series would be complete with a, 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 a low end frequency option like subwoofers? Is there something in the zero line for the base side of things? Actually, yes. So we have two subwoofers in the zero line, uh, 010 and the 012. Now, with these speakers being designed to fit in smaller tapered enclosures, we did the same thing with the zero subwoofers. They're extremely efficient. They don't need a ton of power to perform. And they have a tapered basket and a very shallow design to these. And they are a full excurting subwoofer. It's not like your typical shallow mount sub that doesn't excurt to a full range. These things are a full excurting subwoofer in a very small enclosure designed. They are specifically designed for sealed box enclosures. You can use them free air, but you're actually going to take away some of the performance from them. But what's wonderful about that 010, for example, it only needs 0.5 cubic foot of space in an enclosure, which is roughly the size of the box that we ship it in. 
So this thing is great for boats. It's great for side by sides that where you're really limited to space. Um, you see these guys putting these subwoofers in these sidewinders and these little tiny three wheeled motorcycle style craft. This is a great sub for that because it takes such small space and it still gives you great bass performance in the speaker. It still incorporates that uh, zero grill, which you can use or not. It's totally up to you. It twists on and locks. And the, the power handling on these, the 10 is 300 watts RMS, the 12 is 400. But they're incredibly great sounding musical subwoofer that gives you a great performance in such a small, small package. So Grant here has the 10 and the 12. You can see the white has the, the white grill on the 10 and the black grill on the 12. But if you take one of these and you spin it sideways, Grant, you can see the tapered design on the basket. Once again, this is a nylas basket. It's incredibly strong, incredibly dura durable, and lighter than steel. Once again, it still has that DNC snap-in connector that's waterproof uh, that we put all of our all of this type of marine quality builds into it. But if you're using it in a standard vehicle, you've still got the, the slide-on blade connectors that everyone's used to using in the car audio market. Uh, it's a very beautiful, impressive speaker. Now, these surrounds are not inverted because on a subwoofer, you don't really need to have that application. Um, and also, it helps the skirting the surround. But once again, this is an incredibly durable, long-lasting product in a very small, shallow package. Now, the 12, it needs about 0.89 cubic foot, a little bit bigger than the than the 10, but, I mean, still incredibly small for, for the size of the speaker that you have and the applications that you're putting it into. You know, after looking at these Zero speakers and subwoofers, for that matter, obviously, these, these two uh, um, items were designed together. So I wanted to take note of a couple cool things I noticed there. Number one, the attention to detail. You know, we see the embossed Wet Sounds logo just beyond the surround around there. I think that's a really nice touch, kind of like a step up. But I also want to um, point out, and when I saw these in person, it's the first thing I noticed. It may be a little bit harder on screen, but the thought process behind the design. First of all, the twist-off grill is super cool. but the just the position between the gloss finish and the matte finish on the grill also gives that a totally different look. I wonder, um, you know, I think a lot of guys are going to use that as is because they just look gorgeous as they are. But are these grills paintable to be customized? It's a high density polymer plastic. So you could pretty much do whatever you really wanted to with the grill. Um, I would just encourage you not to paint the back of it so that the locking teeth on the subwoofer or on the Zero product will still twist on and lock nice and smooth for you. But yeah, I've seen actually a several customers already take these and uh, paint only part of the spokes to match the coloring on their boat or their um, razor that they may have these on. So I'm sure, you know, they, really the sky's the limit with you have a great installer, they could pretty much, you know, use use their, their, their big brains and make it look fabulous in a, a number of different ways. All right, so we've covered the zero line, but it doesn't end there when it comes to the marine audio offering. Obviously, it's a very big catalog, but we would be remiss if we weren't doing a wet sound show and not talk about sound bars. There's a story and a history there with sound bars. I'm going to let Carl talk all about it. But what do we have right now for dealers to consider when it comes to the sound bar category from wet sounds? Ben, wet sounds actually invented the sound bar. Uh, we even have multiple patents on our product to uh, guarantee that um, what we built is uh, almost one of a kind in, in really the way it's built, the way you can install it, and the sound quality of the product. Um, <clears throat> we've added a lot of new features to our um, already great soundbar line because that's one thing that Wit Sounds does do is once we build a product, we're always looking to improve it, to make it better, um, or to make it easier for an installation application, for example. Um, the soundbars this year, what we've done is we've um, added some RGB lighting to give it a little accent. Um, and we actually added a dome light on the, uh, the soundbars, which is a really great feature if you're putting it in a golf cart or in a side-by-side. 
or you have it on your pontoon boat, whatever you know. I call it the cell phone finder light. You know, you drop your cell phone in nighttime when you're cruising around and you're side by side, hit that light, you can find it. Um, we also did a little bit more design with the grill, um, make it a little more attractive looking. Um, and we added some installation features on them this year to give them a little more versatility with the install community. And finally, we, we improved our Bluetooth mechanism in the sound bars. So now the sound bars will actually link to one another and you can link any number of these sound bars together without having to have them wired to each other to incorporate sound to multiple sound bars. So right in front of Grant here, you can see the RGB accent on the front to either side of the, uh, blue, the Bluetooth control panel. But what I want you to do, Grant, is tilt that speaker down toward me. You can see the fast track that's on the top, the bottom, and the back. Now this is a 5 16th install channel where you can go down to your local hardware store, get some 5 16th bolts, slide them right in that channel, and now you have a way of mounting that to almost anything you want to mount it to. But what we also did is the L bracket that comes with these uh, sound bars, we extended it to give you a little bit more range of where you may be mounting it. And I don't know if you can get in close on that, Grant, but there's a little tiny nubs on the uh, pattern of the sound bar. It actually allows you to lock the sound bar in different angles. So if you're mounting this on a razor or let's say you're mounting it on a Can-Am Defender or maybe uh, some side-by-side -side vehicle that's got a custom cage and it's got a really weird angle to it, this bar, this uh, bracket will allow you to lock the sound bar in roughly 10 to 12 degree positions so you can angle it a lot better to be at that perfect hearing range for your ears. We've also got a lot of clamps that we've added to our accessory portion. There's a sliding bracket that fits in that 5 16th channel. We make round and square clamping for these sound bars. So no matter what you might be mounting it to, whether it's a golf cart, a side-by-side, -side, a pontoon boat, a fishing boat, there's gonna be a, a, an application for you to install this on just about anything that's out there. So when I was at SEMA this uh, past year, there was a gentleman that had a Ford F-350, I believe it was. It had like a four foot lift on it, which was really nice. But he had taken the step rails on the truck and he used wet sound sound bars instead. So you literally were stepping on the sound bars to get into the truck, but they were just jam and loud right in your face at face level. So it was a really neat way of installing it. And he had used that, that fast track install te technique or the tracking on the sound bar to lock them into the, to the step bars. So it was a really uh, original way of installing uh, our sound bars into an install that uh, I'd never seen before. So these sound bars are also extremely easy to install. The wire harness that comes with the unit is very simple. You've got a power, a ground, and an accessory wire you're connecting. But what's really nice is these also connect to our AS line of subwoofers with a simple 3.5 millimeter plug. You connect the male end and the female end together, and bang, the sound bar now controls the subwoofer. And there's also an auxiliary plug on the sound bar so if you're putting this in, let's say, a side-by-side -side that has the North Star system, you can incorporate that North Star system into the sound bar. Or if you're putting it into a vehicle that has already a head unit of some sort, you can just get an RCA to 3.5 millimeter adapter and adapt that audio system into the sound bar. So it's a very versatile piece of equipment and it's very simple to install in most any vehicle you're putting it in. Carl, without a doubt, the versatility that you guys have built into soundbars, and I mean, come on, you guys have literally started the category, so I would expect no less. But did I hear right? I remember hearing that there's DSP features built into these soundbars. Can you shed a little light on this topic? 
Sure, Ben. What we did is we used some DSP processing in these new sound bars to do a couple of things. One, to give it a better and lower mid bass uh, so that it stands alone uh, much better than our previous model soundbar. It gets a lot lower mid range and it just, it sounds much warmer. And we also uh, give it a little more power so it can really crank out that the, the volume on, on these things. And that solid anodized aluminum chassis is, it just holds that mid base in there and it pushes it out with a lot of force and a lot of power. So Ben, no matter which soundbar you purchase, the six speaker, the eight speaker, or the new 12 speaker soundbar, all of them come with the really handy uh, steering wheel remote control. So whether you're clamping it on to a, a golf cart, a side-by-side, -side, a truck, a boat, it doesn't matter what you're hooking it to, this remote interface allows you to get controls, volume, source, power, turn the Bluetooth function on and off. It's it's a really handy feature that comes with every single one of the sound bars that we carry. So Carl, we've been talking about zero, we're talking about sound bars. I want to kind of circle back to an existing product that's very popular. Of course, we're talking about the Rev HD series, but there's been an update to the grill and I can't help but notice, I see some similarities with the design element of it, kind of similar to the zero. So yes, Ben, we added the zero grill to the Rev HD line this year. So you can incorporate maybe some zero six and a halfs on the interior of your boat and still have those jamming in your face tower speakers up top and make that, that symmetry go across the whole boat. And they are available in black and white, but that's only one of the little features that really were improved this year with the Rev HD line. So, one of the first things we did this year is we incorporated the RGB into the housing of the Rev HD, 12 HD and 10 HD. You can see it's already mounted. You don't have to buy the accessory like you did in previous models that we've offered. Um, it's on the front and the back and even the little wet sounds logo lights up. Um, you, you can get the RGB controller to change the colors. You can do all the neat things that RGB has always done for your boats. He's also got the really impressive uh, Rev Zero grills there, and they'll just kind of twist and lock on similarly to how they did with the Zero line. It's a very nice, neat, but see, it looks exactly like it's part of the Zero series now. But one real key feature with these is we actually built the new Rev HD pods with a scalloped design to them. And as you turn it sideways, you can see there's like a big cutout on these, on the sides of these. And what this actually allowed us to do is it we were able to take the Rev 12 speaker and actually hang it higher up than last year's 10 inch speaker. This gives a, um, more headroom on your boats because when you go to a 12 inch speaker you're really starting to get into headroom issues trying to get in and around your, your boat so we scalloped the pod on the 10 and the 12 with the rev series so that they hang higher and give you a lot more headroom we also used dsp processing on these we put these speakers in a, a, a sound room and we looked at the frequency response they had and where there were a little bright brightness we we actually improved the crossover between the compression horn driver and the mid driver so it's a lot smoother response um, and also we added an additional crossover on the the i'm sorry, no, I'm sorry an additional capacitor on the crossover to protect the tweeter a lot of the guys out there, you know, they 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 get out on the water and they're just cranking their tower speakers. Then they bring it into the cove, they kill the boat, they get it back out. Then the next time they bring it back out, they forget the volume's turned up to 11 and they turn on the boat and bam, they spike the tweeter and they blow the diaphragm right out of the tweeter. So that extra capacitor on the crossover helps protect the tweeter just in case somebody might have forgotten to turn their volume down. Uh, last time they had their boat out on the water. So Ben, one other point I wanted to add about the Rev HD line to all your dealers out there is when we came out with this product, 
uh, like probably the first two to 300 pair of the Rev HDs we sold were going on to boats that already had Wet Sounds product. People were just trying to get bigger and better. So we decided with this Rev HD line to not include the grills with the tower speakers and not include the clamps with these tower speakers. A lot of guys were taking them and using the clamps they already had on their boats. So we, we made a decision to not include these. That way your customer needs to know that. So if this is a brand new boat build, they need to qualify their customer on what clamp they need and they need to qualify their clamps, uh, customer on what grill they might need. So we've obviously got the new Zero and we've got the Wet Sounds Iron Cross uh, grill that Wet Sounds has been known for for many decades or decade. And then we also have the more marine incorporated clean look that maybe someone might want to have it be a little bit more subtle. All of these grills are available in black and white. So it's just preference. And with our swivel clamp that Grant has sitting there next to him, this clamp will use, uh, will fit on about eh, 90, 95% of most of your boats. Um, what's nice is you literally can, once it's mounted to the tower, it's a very simple process. You pull out the little pin, and now the speaker tower can be separated with a twist, and it comes apart. So that little part there will stay on your tower, and the mount will be locked onto the, 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 the pod. So when you're parking your boat or you pull up in Lake McConaughey and you've got a little sketch crowd around, in a matter of a minute, you can disconnect your tower pods hide them away or lock them up, or even for winter time, you can disconnect your pods, keep them inside. It's a really good safety feature on our clamps, and it's also a really easy way for you to protect your product, maybe in a sketchy environment, if you're at a boat area or a new dock that you're just not familiar with. Thank you so much, Carl, for the presentation and going in depth about all these great new products. You know, I guess the question the dealers want to know and they want to hear in your words, there's a lot of great brands, like you said, out there, especially within this marine space. Obviously, Wet Sounds has been there from the get go. But if you had to summarize in your own words, why is what do dealers need to know when it comes to considering Wet Sounds as their go to partner for marine audio? Well, Ben, Wet Sounds is not just a marine product. We're a lifestyle product. No matter where your lifestyle takes you away from your car or away from your home, what sounds is going to be there for you. So if someone is thinking about putting something in their side by side or on their pontoon boat or in their golf cart or in their four wheel drive vehicle or on their RV or their fifth wheel, anywhere where they're going to have elements of weather, water, uh, you, you know, it, issues with direct sunlight, uh, motorcycles. It, it doesn't matter where they may be wanting to put a product that's maybe atypical from a, a typical dealer installation. They should be having and thinking wet sounds because we're going to have a solution for that customer. We're going to have an installation system for that customer. And we're going to have a product that can handle these terrible elements that a lot of people try to put their, their audio systems through. The other thing is, is we build our products to last with a two-year warranty. So the dealer can be reassured that no matter where they're putting it, it's going to stand the test of time and these elements for that customer. They're not going to have them coming back after one season and having to replace it. So what sounds really tries to provide uh, a total solution, no matter what type of marine or uh, power sport market product a dealer might need or require. Carl, it's clear what the benefits are when you're partnering up with Wet Sounds. Now, what about on the technical support side? What kind of support channels do you offer for dealers to have that support uh, when dealing with your gear? Box enclosure designs to schematics to uh, hardware uh, accessory um, differences and what they may need. Uh, we have a, a total support channel for them. 
And this is something that um, maybe some other dealers out there might fall a little short on, or you get a recorded message of, of networks. You know, we really want to be there for our dealers, not only in selling the product and providing a product that's great for them, but we want to have a support channel so that they can lean on us and know that we have their back no matter what they might need from us. Of course, joining us, we've got uh, the partner to Wet Sounds here in Canada representing Trends Electronics. We've got Grant McFadder in the studio, who's their national sales director. Now, Grant, there is a rich history between Trends Electronics and Wet Sounds. I want to give you an opportunity to kind of share a little bit about that story, that background of how this partnership has started and where it's headed. Ben, we've been with Wet, Wet Sounds for, you know, going on 15 or 16 years now. And I had dark hair at the time. Now I got gray. Um, but these guys do fantastic Fantastic job, not only in delivering us uh, with an amazing product, but also on the technical side, the marketing side of things. If you look out their social media on Facebook, Instagram, they're always updating that content. So it never gets old. Amazing, amazing content. I know they've got a full-time staff doing that. But really, it comes down to the product at the end of the day. Um, we saw these guys at CES, I believe it was 2005, maybe 2008. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But they were showing off their original speaker was the Pro 485. And this thing was three feet wide, three feet deep, two eight inch mid bass drivers with a massive horn tweeter in the middle. And I was going, what are these guys thinking? On a boat? Are you crazy? Like, who's going to put that up on there? Uh, and then we saw, we saw some of the results that we're having and we were uh, pretty quick to make a phone call and say, hey, look, uh, we're interested in distributing this line in Canada and we haven't looked back since. I mean, the, the line grows every single year. It always amazes me that we have, you know, growth in uh, every single year since we've had the line. So fantastic product. Um, the guys that come up with their thoughts, like uh, um, Carl was saying, these guys don't just build the product. They live, eat, breathe uh, this product, whether they're on, out in the ranch whether they're uh, you know out in the lake, out side by side, you name it. These guys live, eat, and breathe this stuff, and that's where their ideas come from. You know, Tim was out on his boat wakeboarding, and uh, he couldn't hear what was back uh, available back then uh, when he was out wakeboarding. You know, eighty feet, hundred feet back, couldn't hear the audio, so he took his background of you know pro audio and car audio and combined the both, and now you've got a, a speaker that everyone rivals and tries to compare themselves against, and nobody nobody's been able to match it yet. So. Kudos to them. Fantastic product. Uh, innovation uh, is one of the key factors that makes them so well renowned in the marine market, and they continue to push the push the, the you know push the needle. I mean, who's got who would have thought you know a few years ago that would have twelve inch tower speakers, or a twelve speaker soundbar in your side by side, or compression horn speakers going in your boat, your side by side, your golf cart, uh, and then now their crossover product in Harley Davidson. It's you know these guys are just amazing. Now, we all know there's always going to be little nuances and differences between the American and the Canadian market. I wanted to kind of pick your brain. As far as Wet Sound's concerned, uh, how is that brand perceived within the marketplace in Canada? And where does it sit right now? Uh, great question. Undoubtedly, I think, uh, you know, we're happy to have them on board as, as a flagship product. And I think that's how people in the Canadian market see Wet Sounds. It is the best of the best. There's nobody comes close. There is no second. There are not second place. They're clearly the leader in the, in the category. And no one else has the innovation these guys have. No one has the, you know, the, the line card they have. I and mean, we started off with one product and then now it's over, I believe it's over 300 different products for, you know, the outdoor marine motorcycle uh, environment. It's crazy. Now, Grant, based on the presentation today, I want to pick your brain. What are your thoughts on some of the hot products that kind of really come to mind that you really want dealers to drill in on? Uh, undoubtedly, the Rev HD tower speakers is by far uh, a dealer favorite, um, whether it's the Rev 10 HDs or the Rev 12 HDs. Um, it's definitely pushing the, pushing the envelope of what's available, what's possible. No one else comes close to it. So Rev 12 HDs are by far our biggest uh, push product right now. Uh, the new zero speakers are fairly new for us. We got them late last year, but um, now we're starting to get into the outdoor season in Canada. We've passed the frigid uh, first three months. Uh, the zero speakers are starting to get some serious lift. So the, um, that speaker is an animal if you want to put them on motorcycles or on boats. Um, the way I would make sure you categorize it, if the guy wants it super loud, sell him some zeros. If the guy wants better sound quality, 
And once the bells and whistles of the RGB is go to the Revo speakers. But Zeros definitely push your envelope as far as the coaxial product. And these subwoofers uh, don't always have to go in a, a marine environment. They can use it in car audio situations, you know, half a cubic foot for the 10. Those can go in Dodge Rams, Chevy pickups uh, in those enclosures. So it's not just a, a marine audio category. They are a bit of a crossover product. And then sound bars, you know, when we first came out with those, um, they were, like I said, they were the guys that introduced that to the market, the 12 volt market. Uh, they're definitely the industry leader. And now we've got three different models. We've got a six speaker, eight speaker and 12 speaker, all with 300 watts RMS of power in it. Uh, pretty much any mounting configuration you want, we've got it, whether it's square brackets, round brackets, uh, the L brackets. Um, and then the cool feature with the remote control, which some people thought it's not such a great idea. But um, when you're out and you're side by side and you can sitting at the campfire, you can adjust the volume adjust the tracks up and down. It's a pretty cool feature to have wirelessly. So um, in all three categories, um, I think are phenomenal, but definitely tower speakers is what wet sounds is known for. How do you feel or why do you feel that trends has found such great success with wet sounds in Canada? And what is that message you want dealers who are considering marine audio as a, a big portion of their business to understand when it comes to wet sounds? I think the, the important thing for the dealers to know, Ben, is the product is built to last. Uh, whether it's amplifiers, speakers, tower speakers, sound bars, you name it, the product is overbuilt. It's meant to last uh, whatever environment we put it in. Uh, the product is very well recognized by the public because of their exposure with social media. And it's high-end product. It's what most guys strive to do. We don't want to be selling entry-level product. We want to sell the best of the best. And that's what you get with Wet Sounds, period. I want to take this opportunity to thank our trainer today, Carl Campbell from Wet Sounds, as well as Grant McFadder from Trends Electronics. Of course, if you're a dealer and you happen to be in Canada, make sure you contact Trends Electronics and uh, be that next Wet Sounds dealer. Um, I'm your host, Ben Wu, for another CMA Connected presented by Sirius XM. Until next time, we connect. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial free music. It's a great ad on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling SiriusXM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling SiriusXM for its ease of installation, great profitability and reliability. People love it.